Hello, welcome to our Firebird Database Administrator Training, covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klent and Jason Chapman, as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. The last few films in this series concentrate on Firebird performance optimization. We'll start here by taking a look at hardware, operating systems, simple benchmark testing, and secure data transfer. With any system, there's always a limiting factor. If you remove that limiting factor, something else then in turn becomes the limiting factor. It is therefore vital to be aware of all these factors which contribute to your overall database server performance. Operating systems. Certainly the most popular operating system today is Microsoft, although Linux is constantly improving its strong foothold in the market. With regard to Windows, it's fairly irrelevant which version you use. Windows 2000 does have the advantage, however, that it does not carry as much overhead as Windows XP and Co. Physically, it can be roughly estimated that, with a Firebird server installation on Windows working with VMware, the performance is approximately 30% less than native processor use. Although VMware does offer a number of advantages which may outweigh any performance disadvantages. For example, that you can back up the complete VMware, complete with database, configuration, etc. Enabling the database to be restarted immediately with the same IP address. And VMware files are pretty well impossible to corrupt. Performance variations are minimal when using the same hardware and the same Firebird version. Slight discrepancies in different areas may be detected, for example, due to the chosen file system. These having different advantages and disadvantages, which need to be assessed individually for individual application requirements. The real advantage with Linux is quite simply the stability of the total system. With Windows, it is possible to achieve a high level of stability. There are, however, a number of parameters and settings that need to be configured accordingly. Linux is certainly better with regard to memory configuration, and the larger the application, the more advantages you will discover with Linux. And if you wish to run a web server alongside your Firebird server on the same machine, you should definitely consider using Linux. If, however, you have a classic medium-sized system with 10 to 20 users, you will not detect any significant differences in overall performance. The optimal hard disk configuration for an efficient Firebird server is to have separate dedicated hard disks for the operating system, for the database, and for the temp files. Partitions are of no advantage here, as the read-write head still has to scan the whole thing. The decisive factor with fixed disks is the read-write speed, and a large cache can also improve performance. RAID systems are useful for large databases, and the larger the disk cache, the better. Small databases up to 2GB can fit in the cache RAM. That can be the database cache RAM or just the Windows cache RAM. When optimizing hardware configuration, take into consideration the following factors. Multi-core CPU are useful for the Fiber Classic server. At least two cores are advisable for the Super server, one for the server itself and another for events. Large cache server CPUs, Xeon and Opteron, are useful for all architectures, particularly with large databases with a high number of users. Server mainboards are optimized for I.O. speed. And high-speed RAM, DDR3, DDR2, is certainly recommendable. To optimize your operating system, firstly, remove all unnecessary tasks and services from the database server. Scrutinize anything listed in the task manager. If you're unsure why it's there, stop it running, and if possible, deinstall the application that started it in the first place. A Windows system can run with a minimum number of processes on a dedicated database server. High-performance database servers should not be used for anything else, be it fire servers, mail servers, think every time they do a pop grab you're bound to register a discernible drop in database performance, or print servers and the like. No antivirus software is at all necessary. No backup restore software that handles open file backups, especially not for the database files but also for the temp files. Even when invoking a shadow by backing up your database files, serious degradation can be noticed in the overall server performance, particularly if you have intensive user traffic at the time. And please do not run a 3D OpenGL screensaver. Fancy screensavers also contribute to performance degradation. And if you're using Linux, run the server without the GUI to save even more memory that can be better used by your database server. 
Firebird Benchmark Tests The IBExpert DemoDB can be used for simple server benchmark tests. By running the DemoDB's init-all procedure, it is possible to quickly determine discrepancies in performance on different hardware and OS configurations. Please refer to our tutorial, Firebird Training for Developers, 1. Installing the Sample Database, or the IBExpert online documentation article, IBExpert DemoDB. For further details of benchmarking possibilities using IBExpert tools. Important! When you're benchmark testing, take into consideration the potential database size and number of users in a year's time. Testing performance on double your current database size with double the number of users will offer you the comfort factor for the near future. Secure and compressed access. Another factor to be considered is the speed and security of remote data transfer. Many applications may have external users who need to connect to the database remotely and access or exchange database data, often over dial-up, satellite or public wide area networks. There are two key issues here. Firstly, that by using public bandwidths there is a security risk. Secondly, even reasonable amounts of data can congest a poor bandwidth without compression. Compression reduces the file size, which increases speed. However, the big issue for connection speed is latency, which can be measured, for example, by pinging the server. Latency is a more critical factor than the bandwidth. Many people set up VCNs through to their service, which solves both issues. The VPN does the compression for you and provides you with a secure tunnel. Alternatively, there is an excellent free tool on the market, Zebedee, offering a tunnel that can be used to compress and encrypt the TCP traffic between the Firebird server and the client, similar to SSH or SSL. Basically, you have a small piece of software sitting on the server and on the client. You need to specify some port redirections, and it listens on one port, decompresses the data, and pushes it through to the correct port where the Firebird server or Firebird client can be reached. By return, it compresses and encrypts data going out. It is even possible to specify client ID files so that the connection is only allowed when the respective client ID files are available both on the server and the client. The software can be downloaded from www.winton.org.uk forward slash Zebedee and is available for Windows, Linux and Unix. It's open source and completely free. So that was our introduction to optimization of hardware, operating systems, simple benchmark testing and secure data transfer. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. Our next topic explains indices and index selectivity. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert. <music>